from lake monsters and ancient giants to the Mothman and porcupine primates, here are the 12 craziest cryptids ever discovered. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm your host, American Eye, bringing to you another creepy, possibly haunted video. But first, we'd like to give a quick shout out over here for leaving us this comment. We appreciate your insight and like to hear more about your thoughts. Number 12. The Kualu Palik In the mythology of the Inuit peoples of the Arctic is where you'll find these aquatic creatures. They're described as having a humanoid appearance with green skin and long hair and fingernails. According to legend, they have a pouch in which they carry off disobedient children. Once the kids are in the pouch, they're taken away underwater where they're kept forever. The myth is said to have arisen as a way to keep children from wandering off alone. But myths often have a basis in reality, so could that have been the case? Number 11. The Folk Monster Sightings of this creature in Arkansas date back to the mid-1940s, but it took until the early 1970s that it gained national attention. Folk is located in the southwestern part of the state, and that's where this beast attacked a family in their home. They said the creature was covered with long, dark hair. It had bright red eyes, stood some 7 feet tall, and weighed about 300 pounds. It moved fast and swung its arms around like a monkey. Shots were fired at the animal, but no trace of its blood were ever found. The creature was spotted several more times that year. It left three toed tracks near a filling station that reportedly measured 17 inches long and 7 inches wide. After all that notoriety, a bounty was placed on this beast. Despite using dogs, they could never pick up its scent. It's pretty strange considering that the monster emitted a very foul stench. Sightings continued into the 21st century, but the creature has never been positively ID'd. But it did inspire a low budget film franchise called The Legend of Boggy Creek. Number 10. The Loveland Frogman Loveland is a town located in the southwestern part of Ohio. It's alleged that a group of humanoid frog-like creatures inhabit the area. Witnesses have described them as standing three feet tall and having leathery skin with webbed feet and hands. Most notably, these creatures had distinctly frog-like noggins. Their earliest sightings date back to the mid-1950s when three of them were seen by the side of the road. The creatures gave her national headlines when their story was reported in 1972. Loveland police reportedly sighted the creatures when one of them ran in front of the cruiser, but it escaped the Ohio River after that and climbed over a guardrail after crouching like a frog. Officers described it as standing 4 feet tall and weighing 75 pounds. Sightings of the cryptids are still reported in the 21st century. In 2016, a creature resembling a giant frog was said to stand erect and walk on its hind legs. Are these still hopping around out there? Tell us what you think. Number 9. The Yura Yuli These are said to be ape-like creatures that inhabit the forests of southwestern Alaska near the Iliyama Lake. Locals say they have long, shaggy fur, glowing eyes, and emit high-pitched screams. At an estimated 10 feet tall, the beasts have long, lanky arms that touch their ankles. According to legends, these creatures were once human children who became lost in the woods. Even though they have a fearsome appearance, the Yura Yuli are said to be peaceful beasts. They are not the only cryptids found around this lake either. A better known cryptid from the same region is coming up later on. Number 8. The Ili Amna Lake Monster Stories about this creature have been circulating around since indigenous Aleut people settled on the shores of the Ili Amna Lake. Referring to the creature as the Ghana Kadet, it was depicted as a fish god. The monster is said to be about 30 feet long and has a square head that it uses to ram into small boats. Earlier accounts of the creature claim that it has the body of an orca and the head and tail of a wolf. It wasn't until the 1940s that the monster became known to the public. That's when pilots reported spotting large, aluminum-colored fish in the lake. By the 1950s, there were ongoing reports of the creatures. In 1979, a reward for $100,000 was offered by the Anchorage Daily News to anyone who could provide conclusive proof to the creature's existence. As far as we know, that reward remains unclaimed. Number 7. The Momo Monster Momo is a contraction of Missouri Monster, which is where this creature has been reported. It's often described as the Bigfoot of that state. It was initially reported in the early 1970s in the town of Louisiana. According to witnesses, the bipedal Momo was seen wandering around the banks of the Missouri River. It was covered in black fur, stood some 7 feet tall, and had a pumpkin-shaped noggin. Chances are you could smell the beast before you saw it. Witnesses claim that it let off a very strange scent. Tracks thought to belong to the monster were analyzed by the Oklahoma City Zoo in 1972. They conclude that the tracks could have been made by a species of primate that was unknown to science. Number 6. Beast of Bray Road 
The beast was described as resembling a bear, although Bigfoot might be a better comparison. Initially reported in 1936, it was seen on a back road of Elkhorn, Wisconsin. Witnesses say it was a bipedal creature, standing about 7 feet tall and weighing up to 700 pounds. Certain accounts refer to it as a werewolf, although no records mention the beast transforming into a human. Some cryptozoologists have speculated that the animal could be some sort of unrecognized species of wild dog or wild wolf-like creature. Sightings occurred in the early 1990s too. That prompted a local newspaper reporter to investigate the stories. She was later convinced that the witnesses were telling the truth about what they saw. Number 5. The Dover Demon in 1977, a teenager in Dover, Massachusetts claimed to have seen this bizarre creature. It had a humanoid appearance and was perched on top of a stone wall. Some reports of the creature were soon filed by additional witnesses. Most accounts described it as having a large head with eyes that had a red or orange glow. At around 3.5 feet tall, it had a slender build with fingers like tendrils. It walked on all fours even though it appeared to be bipedal. Some think the Dover demon might have been some kind of ET since its description was similar to that of a gray alien. Other guesses include the demon being a mutated animal or some unidentified animal species. Whatever it may have been, the creature disappeared after a brief flurry of sightings. Number 4. The Pope Lick Monster Here's a legendary creature from Kentucky that is described as being part human, part sheep, and part goat. According to legend, it resides underneath a trestle bridge that spans Pope Lick Creek in Louisville. The monster is famous for luring in trespassers by using a form of voice mimicry or hypnosis. Once drawn in, the trespasser arrives just in time to be run down by an oncoming train. The cryptid will also attack victims outright. With a horrific scream, it jumps and crashes onto the roofs of cars, traveling underneath the structure. The Pope Creek Bridge has become a must-see location for thrill-seekers. Because of that, an 8-foot fence, 2.5 meters, was constructed to keep out the curious. But fatalities are still reported when sightseers go to see the monster. The most recent report incidents happened in 2016 and in 2019 when a teenage girl was killed on the trade tracks. Number 3. The spiny back Chimpanzees A U.S. Navy unit was stationed in the Dominican Republic of the Congo between 1997 and 2002. According to an anonymous source within that unit, more than a dozen bipedal chimpanzees were sighted trying to kill another animal. They were unlike any chimps the soldiers had seen before. All of them had a uniform gray coloration and stood about 5 feet tall. The most unusual physical trait was a series of porcupine-like quills that ran along their back and stood up when the animal was agitated. The precise location of this event was never disclosed by any anonymous source. And while film of the incident was supposedly shot, that film has been classified. Number 2. The Mothman This phenomenon started in 1966 when the strange cryptid was first sighted in West Virginia. Most of the sightings seemed to occur near the town of Point Pleasant where the abandoned WW2 munitions plant was. While out driving one night, two couples said that they encountered a bizarre humanoid creature that stood 7 feet tall and had wings that folded behind its back. The creature had large red eyes that glowed in the center of its chest. As they tried to drive away, the beast unfuried its wings and flew down the road in pursuit of them. According to the witnesses, speeds exceeded 100 miles an hour. Eventually, the Mothman gave up the chase and vanished. More than 100 sightings of this cryptid were reported over the next 13 months. Most of the accounts describe a dark colored creature with a 15-foot wingspan. Guesses as to what that creature was range from an unknown species of animal to a supernatural or even extraterrestrial entity. Alleged sightings of the Mothman have continued into the 21st century, so it looks like he's still out there, somewhere. If you have any thoughts about the Mothman's origins, let us know in the comment section. And number 1. Giants Have giant humans really existed on Earth? In 1890, an anthropologist found three bone fragments in a Bronze Age burial pit in southern France. Possibly dating back to the Neolithic era, this analysis revealed that the fossil bones might belong to some kind of large human. Estimates indicated that the bones belonged to a human that stood 11.5 feet tall. The discovery became known as the Giant of Castelna, named for the cemetery in which the bones were found. But this find might have not represented the tallest humans. In 1894, bones of giant humans were unearthed about 5 kilometers southwest of Castelna. Enormous skulls and bones were found there that indicate that the beans would have stood about 15 feet tall. The bones were reportedly sent to be analyzed at the Paris Academy. We couldn't find any results for that study. And there are no peer-reviewed studies published about these findings. What do you think? 
So did you guys get scared? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section and maybe we'll feature you in an upcoming video.